Hi, I'm Guy Cohen and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the Rubik's Cube or how to solve the Rubik's Cube and I'm also going to show you how it has similarities to actual trading as well. So here we have a Rubik's Cube, it's kind of messed up, let me just mess it up some more, hopefully you can see it. And uh, the date is October 16th, 2011. So I did one of these a few years ago, so let's just see if I can still remember how to do it now. So the first thing I do is I apply a formula. I mean, in order to solve the Rubik's Cube, you have to apply a formula. In order to trade consistently and well, you have to apply a formula. Now, there are many different formulas out there for solving the Rubik's Cube and for trading, and you've just got to find the one that suits you the most. So what I'm going to do is the formula I use for the Rubik's Cube is I just look at the one that enables me to do one side at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is the, is the white side. That's just my my base point, if you like, and I'm just going to do that in front of your very eyes. Hopefully you can see all this. And as I'm doing it, I want to emphasize again the point that trading is like a formula. Now the formula that I use is one where we have a chart pattern, we have a look at what insiders are doing, and then we apply a trading plan. So we're almost there now, we've just got one more, one more little thing to do, and then we have uh, done the first side of the Rubik's Cube. So I'll just repeat that in a second. Here's the white side, it's done, you can see it. And you can also see that the orange side is all matched up with the central orange square, the green side is matched up with the central green square, the red side matched up, and the yellow side matched up. So now the next thing I have to do with the cube is I have to go and do the second layer. So that's quite easy. And again, let me just re-emphasize to you what we're gonna do in terms of uh, actually doing the trade. So the first thing I look at is a trading chart pattern, a specific chart pattern. Now, there are many chart patterns out there, but there are only a few that I consider to be worth trading. And what we do is we trade breakout patterns. So specific breakout patterns is what we focus our energy on. What I also have done is I've developed an indicator that follows what insider traders or what insider traders could be doing. So I marry the two together, and with those I then create a trading plan. So there's kind of three steps to it. And talking of three steps, here is the second layer of the Rubik's Cube done. Okay, we see we haven't disturbed the first layer, and what we've now done is done that central layer so that the reds are all lined up now, the greens are all lined up, and the, or the oranges, and the yellows. So now what we have to do is apply a formula to do the last side, and there's quite a lot of work to be done here. So let me just do that. But again, with trading, it's a formula. With doing the cube, it's a formula. Now, obviously with the cube, every time you do it, it works out fine if you apply the formula. With trading, it works out over the medium term if you do it right. I mean, obviously there's some trades you're gonna get right and some trades you're gonna get wrong, but the point is that when you get them wrong, you don't get too badly hurt, and when you get them right, you get well rewarded in some occasions. Obviously, sometimes you get it right in trading and you don't make the full profits because sometimes the, the stock then turns back on you. But sometimes if you get to ride on a trend, and that's really what our trading plan is all about, if you get to ride on a trend, then you can make a lot of money very quickly. And that's what it's all about. Now, with this Rubik's Cube, I have now done the centerpieces of the last side. So now all I have to do is get the rest done. So it's only a few moves left and I'll be finished with this Rubik's Cube as we do it. Um, now I'm literally, I can tell you that the formula says that I am 32 moves away from completing the Rubik's Cube. So let's just have some fun with this. So do 31, 30, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ta-da, done. So that is the Rubik's Cube done. So I want to just emphasize again what we do with our trading plan. Our trading plan is about three things. The first thing we do is we look for tradable chart patterns. For me, that's consolidations and breakout patterns. Secondly, we marry that with, a, with what I call an informed uh, trader indicator. That's my OVI indicator. What this does is it's spying on what the options traders are doing. Now, don't worry, you don't have to know anything about options at all but the indicator does that for us. It's a very simple indicator, and we marry that with what's going on with the chart, and together we fuse those into a workable and robust trading plan that keeps you safe when you get it wrong, but allows you to make windfall profits when you get it right. So, in my next video, which will come very shortly, I'll be talking all about that and less about the Rubik's Cube, but I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. So wait for the next video. It'll be coming very shortly.